All right, so you're here just in time for another Amazon product review unboxing, and we're going to check it out and also test it out. This is the Kenamas Slow Masticating Juicer, and it's their model AMR520 in silver. And uh, now I do have a centrifugal juicer, and uh, it's by Breville, but uh, we're having issues with uh, waste waste of the fruits and vegetables that we're trying to juice with. What happens is, is that in a centrifugal one, the motor moves so much quicker. So when you, you know, stick your fruit or veggies into there, it's moving so quick that the, you know, you'll get a lot of uh, leftovers from the fruit or veggies. Well, with a slow mas uh, masticating juicer, the motor moves much slower so you can yield more juice uh, from your fruits or veggies. All right, so let's open this up. Some of the features, by the way, and it says so on the box, and it extracts more juice than a high-speed juice extractor, which, uh, again, centrifugal ones, extracts tastier and completely healthy juice, rich in nutritional values, and it's, uh, makes a, it makes like a naturally thicker juice, very quiet operation, and this is very important. I really like knowing that this one has the reverse function. Again, it's easy cleaning and assembly. You get two containers for the juice and the pulp, and it has 150 watts. So I'm currently growing some wheatgrass, and you can do this very easily at home. You can watch some of my videos of showing how to do this. And uh, what the problem is, is with our Breville, which is a centrifugal juicer, is, is that the engine or the motor moves so quickly that it's very, very hard to extract the juice from the wheatgrass when it fully grows. By the way, this is babies. And uh, so this is why we got the Ketamas and uh, having the slow masticating version is probably going to be very, very, very easy to get the juice from the actual wheatgrass into liquid form. So the slower the motor, the easier it is to extract juice from softer items. So let's open this up and check it out. We're going to just do an unboxing first and we are going to actually try it. We're going to demonstrate how it works right here live on camera okay so I opened up the box and immediately you see we have a owner's manual with the instructions very very cool and over here we have recipes oh this is really great so you get a recipes booklet let's just uh, open a page or two to see some of the ideas that they have in here Really, really cool. We have Super C Juice, uh, Vitamin C. We have the Health Boost Juice. And uh, there's loads of pages with instructions in this booklet. Very good. Next, we have the parts. So we're going to take the parts out one by one. And here we go. And there's our unit in there. Very, very nice and uh, packed very well for the journey to the house. And here's some of the parts. And all right, we'll get it out and we'll check it out. All right, so we have all the pieces here. We're gonna unwrap them. You even get a cleaning brush, which is really great. And all right, I'm gonna take everything out and put it together, and we're going to juice with it. Okay, so upon unboxing, this actually is beautiful. It has a beautiful, beautiful silver and chrome design. Look at that, look at how that's like a mirror shine. Uh, you can see it's actually really, it's it's got heft to it. It's not some lightweight uh, plastic, like it is made out of plastic, but not that lightweight type of plastic that's uh, really flimsy. This is heavy duty and very, very, very solid. Uh, yeah, I get a, a, like a feel of, wow, this is like solid. And if you look on the bottom, we have some nice feet. There's uh, little rubber grips uh, to grip your counter. That's uh, actually great. There we go. Okay, so here's some of the parts and they are beautiful. Uh, again, this uh, beautiful shiny chrome. Let's check this out. Uh, we have the cups. So one is for the pulp and the other is for the juice right here. Uh, we have some other parts. I'm going to put this together. It shouldn't be too hard. And uh, then we're going to check this out. So I forgot to mention now on this unit, it has a really, really heavy duty plug. I don't know if you could see this, but this is a really good quality plug. It's not very thin. Uh, you can see it's really a thick, sturdy plug. Okay, so I'm starting to put it together now. As you can see, this is a beauty. 
This is a really, really nice, gorgeous looking juicer. Now, uh, I noticed, I forgot to tell you, this one has a measuring on it, so you can measure the amount of juice. And again, this is the pulp container. All right, so everything's all washed. My husband's gonna demonstrate. We're gonna make some juice. Now, uh, here's how the cups are set up. We have the juicer cup here, the pulp cup here. Oh, we just added some celery. Okay, and here's the switch. So we have the switch, we have the reverse, the on and the off right there. And uh, yeah, it was actually very simple to set up and it's gonna actually be very easy to clean. All right, Michael, go ahead, make us some juice. Okay, so he's going to cut everything up. Why don't you turn it on? I just want to show them how this spins. One second. You have to chop it up a little bit smaller. I don't have any wheatgrass. When I have wheatgrass, that's going to be... Yes, the wheatgrass is growing. I showed them that the wheatgrass is growing, so that's great. That's perfect for wheatgrass. In three more days, you'll have wheatgrass. The other juice is no good for wheatgrass. There's yes, no I told them that we have the Breville centri uh, centrifugal one, and it just does not do wheatgrass. No, no, All right, no. let's go. And it'll take a moment. This is a slow emulsifier. Oh, wow. That's really amazing. Well, look, the pulp's going right into the other I'm one. I'm compare it to my other juice and I'll see which one is which one I like. Wow, this one is fantastic. It's so much slower. So slow. we're getting a lot more juice. Celery. It's like the machine's eating it. That's great. I can already tell right now this is going to be great for me for us. That is fantastic. And look at that. Look at the pulp. Usually we have so much more pulp. That's true. I mean, extremely a large amount of pulp. This is actually taking and extracting so much more juice than our normal centrifugal juicer. Now, what would happen if you turn the reverse button on? Uh, I'm going to do that right now. So I'll give it a shot if you want to see it. Yes, please. I want to see it in action. Maybe it'll come flying out. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, okay. So it turns the opposite direction. I think that's good for wheatgrass if it, uh, gets, if it gets stuck. stuck. Yeah. Very wheatgrass, good. Wheatgrass like, winds around like spaghetti on a spoon. Okay. So that's good for that. So now we're gonna put it on the regular on yeah. position. And sometimes, like I say, like something gets like might get like a little stuck, like it's something like like a carrot. Because carrots like this one's like hard as a rock. So sometimes it's good for that. Yeah. Sometimes these carrots I get from the shop right up, like rocks. I actually like that. I'm gonna use this, this stuff right here. I'm gonna use it for uh, to make a muffin. That's great, and that's right. You can use this type of stuff to make muffins. And uh, yeah, so you don't have to even waste the pulp. No, I just use, next time just put the carrots in first and you just use the carrots for a carrot muffin. That so is now, just great. Okay, so now this, we're gonna, now a, we can separate the froth. Some people like the froth. I don't separate. So some people do not like this froth. My husband loves the froth, but uh, he's uh, gonna show us a way, well, he likes it with the froth, but well, he usually just around. takes a fork. It just mixes it around. It's actually more healthier to have it that way. So if you don't like the froth, they they have a froth separator. And you don't have to have the froth if you uh, don't want it. This looks like, I'll tell you right now, this looks more like juice than the other one. Let me see. And see the other froth? The froth is less frothy. 
So my husband says that actually this looks a lot more like juice than our centrifugal juicer's juice. Uh, he's actually thinking this looks beautiful. Now he's going to take a first sip. Go ahead and take a first sip for us and let us know what you think. Oh, he has not stopped sipping. He actually just drank the whole entire glass. Wait, watch this. Okay, what do you think? Delicious. Oh, Absolutely really delicious. So, I forgot what do to you put ginger in there, but usually I put ginger in there. Ah, okay. So, what do you think of the Ketamas? I like it. I like it a lot. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you say here? 9.95. Why 9.95 and not 10? Nothing's ever a 10. Gotcha. So, he's a hard marker. All right, guys, this is phenomenal. He's all excited. He's going to make muffins with these. Uh, is it, like, like? can you uh, squeeze some of that out of there? Yeah, this is good. It got, oh, yeah. Nice and dry. It got most of that juice out of there. I'd say... 90-something percent of the juice came out of there. All right, so we have an empty cup. We have, uh, I'm going to give it a five-star review. And, uh, yeah, you won't be sorry, guys. So I'm going to put a link in the description below to buy this juicer. This juicer say, is phenomenal. Let me say give it a 9.95 because I forgot to put ginger in there. But it, it's not their fault. Well, they forgot to tell me to put ginger in there. <laughs> well, you should have read the recipe book that it came with. All right, my husband's just fascinated with this. Is good. This is this. going to be really good because it's finely ground. Just go right into like the other one is not like this. So what yeah, my husband makes uh, muffins so out this of this. This is stuff. actually perfect for uh, to throw in there for it's the nice muffins. It's nice and dry. So you reuse it. It's going and it's going to blend in really nice. I make it with pumpkin, pumpkin and uh, and this. Yeah, and it's always too moist. And it comes in really. But good. since this is very dry, this is going to make a really great muffin. Yeah, you put this All right, fire. guys. Thanks so much for watching. There'll be a link in the description below. We had a lot of fun demonstrating this product. And uh, again, Ketamas. And uh, the link is in the description below to purchase. Thanks for watching. See you guys all soon and so long. Okay, so there's an afterthought. Oh, my. my husband wanted to show you how easy it is to just take apart. Go ahead, husband. This. You press the little button. Comes right out. And it comes right out. And easy all you do is just dump. Whoa. We almost lost the, uh, the camera. You just dump the bins and boom. You're done. Easy peasy to clean up.